Welcome to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric. I've just done a quick and easy uh, project uh, to build another grain mill uh, on the milling machine. Don't need it to build the grain mill, but it makes it quick and easy. And that's one of the reasons why the versatile milling machine uh, and the mill drill is going to be our uh, essential tool of the week. Now this is the Harbor Freight. It's a two horsepower one. I really like it. I've got a jet three phase, uh, which is a little bit more problematic to run. I mean, you need a rotary converter or a electronic converter to run it. This is just single phase, very simple. It's also decently priced for the capacity that you get. I think they are advertising right now for uh, 1,200 bucks. Um, of course, at Harbor Freight, most of those things you can get 20 to 25 percent off coupons that are floating around. 25% usually comes uh, Christmas, Easter, those type of events and they have a day or a couple days that you get 25% off. Even at $1,200, nah, this is an alright deal. Take the 20% coupon off, you're starting to look at a serious machine for a reasonable price. Especially when you consider that if you have to buy a heavy duty drill press, you know, you're not looking at that much less, even if you go at the Harbor Freight ones, which are, you know, 200 and some dollars, knock off your coupon. This gives you a whole lot more capacity. It's much more rigid. It uses the R8 collets. Um, you can use loads of tooling on it. It doesn't come with uh, a nice vise like this or the rotary table. Those I picked up... Uh, on eBay from from companies that were going out of business for a song and even the this machine itself I picked this up uh, I think it was in 2008 when everybody figured the economy was going to implode uh, Canadian dollar was well above par with the US I think I switched my money at a dollar five 30 percent or 25 percent off coupon and I was able to bring it back below my duty-free limit uh, for a week which is about 750 bucks, so Canadian. So um, I got it for a really good price. I was looking at sub 800 dollars US at the time. It's not far off from that if you get one of those good coupons and uh, its current price either. It allows you to do a lot of things, and, and most people would say the lathe is the more essential tool. This has a lot more physical capacity, which is one of the reasons I'm putting it ahead of the lathe. Um, you can do uh, slots with a rotary table, you can do uh, uh, your circles, things like that, uh, a lot of flat turning. Uh, you can use it as a heavy duty drill press. So it comes in handy for a number of things and is reasonably priced. And Harbor Freight, I've got their 9x20 um, uh, 9x20 lathe it's great I don't see it there or any of their larger lathes on their website right now they're still offering the mill drill I think they're offering a one and a half horsepower one uh, I don't know how it compares exactly to the two horsepower one but this has proved to be a really good deal one and a half horsepower is looks to be well rated on the website as well it may just be a change in nomenclature or, or product specifications of a slight extent pick one up if you have the free funds or look for one uh, coming up used if it's been well maintained I found it to be solid um, you know you're getting something new it's not probably as well built as a precision bridge port was when it came out of the factory uh, you know several decades ago but if that bridge port has been heavily used not only are people going to have you pay loads more unless it's in the boonies and you know, you're going to have to fetch it, which is a good option too sometimes. And I've done that for a number of my tools. Um, but this, pretty good tolerance, and it's new, right? So you don't have to deal with a worn out uh, piece of equipment. Motors, which I guess in previous models tended to fail, I've had no problems with uh, any of the um, Harbor Freight electric motors that on the tools that I purchased in the last number of years so I think their quality control has gone way up on that. 
So for all the additional capacity that this gives you, consider the Harbor Freight version or consider looking for another milling machine um, locally or at a little distance at a really good price. If you can add one, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So for all this and more uh, tips on how to empower your independence, go to EnjoyingTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.